Hey there. For my final assignment, I've chosen to review three science um, resources that relate to the Earth and Space Science for Year 10s, in particular the Global Systems um, component of this. So my re first resource is What is the Biosphere? It's a flyer created by the Big History Project. Um, ease of access, it's quite difficult to find. You can't just Google what is a biosphere. You actually have to put in the Big History Project next to it, otherwise it won't come up. Uh, it's quite suitable for the Year 10 age group, which is 15, 16 year olds, due to uh, the simple language as well as being quite uh, summative. And it is quite visually appealing. It is a nice introduction to the global systems topic by introducing what a biosphere is, as well as giving some information on the other spheres that encompass it. The Big History Project isn't just confined to that one flyer. It's actually a bunch of animations, videos, articles, classroom activities, all aimed at targeting the middle and high school ages. My second resource is Biosphere 2. It's a research facility run by the University of Arizona that is here to mimic uh, the Earth's conditions, in this case the global systems. It's an internationally recognised facility, so making uh, searching for this is quite easy. It is, however, not quite suitable for the Year 10s. Most of the information relates to running of the facility, which is completely irrelevant. But in the About section, there is a lot of information that relates to the global systems topic and it creates a nice connection between the topic and why the students should be studying it. My third resource is the four spheres, uh, part one and two, by Crash Course. Um, it's quite easy to find. Crash Course is a pretty large YouTube channel nowadays, with a lot of videos for science and other subjects. Uh, it's quite suitable for the year tens. Uh, the video has all the relevant information um, the language is very clear and simple and is very visually appealing, keeping them focused. It also gives a lot of examples of what each sphere is made up of, rather than just giving the basic definition. Now using the technology integration matrix, all three of these resources essentially start at an entry level, but this can be easily changed based on the context the teacher uses these resources. They can be easily used for the students to be active, collaborative, constructive, as well as particularly goal-directed if used in the context of a research project or something similar. After actually teaching this topic uh, to Year 10s in my last prac, I decided to turn it into a video and a website. I found the topic was quite dry and the Year 10s weren't particularly interested due to a lot of it being taught based on purely their books. To create this, I use smore.com. It's a free online tool that makes flyers and websites, and I used, of course, YouTube. The page essentially breaks down the main components of the global systems introduction topic, which would be predominantly just all taught in the first week of this new topic. First off, it breaks down the spheres, the atmosphere, biosphere, lithosphere, and hydrosphere, explaining what each is and whereabouts they are found on Earth. It then proceeds to break down each of the natural cycles that are found in the global system, so the carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, and the water cycle. These are all short summaries brought from the textbook and online research by myself. As I said, the topic is quite dry and quite boring for most of the year tens, so I aim to make it more hands-on approachable for the students. Embedded in the page is a video to a YouTube clip of a carbon cycle example. This can be viewed or can actually be demonstrated in class with the help of the lab technicians. Also embedded in the page are links to the other articles I use for my resource reviews. Biosphere 2 help connects the content with the real world. Another link is NASA Earth. goes over new scientific discoveries of the Earth as well as general facts about it. To further connect the topic and content, I created a short YouTube video on how to make a terrarium. The terrarium is a representation of the biosphere, in particular, the Earth. This shows an enclosed system with all the carbon, water and nitrogen cycles. Creating the terrarium gives the students a hands-on approach to the topic, which the textbooks 
in particular Pearson 9, seems to be lacking. This page, I believe, builds on all three of the previous resources by creating visually appealing resource, age-suitable language so that the students understand the topic, and can be viewed at the student's own pace. Some students might still be reading the top section, while others can independently move on to conducting their experiments and creating a terrarium. This web page can essentially become a hub for future teaching in particular on this topic as it's easy to embed the links that can link into further lessons.